Uh, companions provide combat up the support, the skills enhance your skills, they increase your carrying capacity. You can unlock special companion combat abilities with inspiration skill. Learn about your companions in Companion Ledger. Okay. How do I access the companion ledger? Uh, oh. This is it, okay. Let's see, what have you got? Uh, 120. I do like that electric gun. No perks. Hmm. Oh, free. Her engineering is so nice. What was that did to mine? It's now twenty seven. But no from Pavra. Oh, let's go. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. That's right. Hey, ma'am. Can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. No, no, no. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. What do you mean? Mm. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. Mm. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. You know the sexually grief mentioned? Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. Uh -huh. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. I don't know if it, that, why were they all? Can't gone? say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't have a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. To me, it's just got issues. Life's hard here, especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big spacer's choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Okay. Find a... The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Mm. Thanks, yeah. ma'am. No I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. Of course. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Let's go. This is it, I'm guessing. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. Uh. Oh. This must be him. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. 
And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar de Soto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, <laughs> the quickest way out of town. I'll talk to you about what Reed asked us to do. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked her to do? Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. Uh. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Uh. What's your advice? Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. If you don't mind a bit of unsolicited advice, be cautious on your way to the geothermal plant. It is not as safe as you might assume. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Excellent. I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Uh. Yeah. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? Uh. It is not only a beautiful relic of a bygone time, it's also the thoughts of an early thinker on the nature of man's place in the cosmos. Not many in this colony could understand its true value, should they ever read it. Oh, look, Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Man. What happens if I'm in? Oh, 
Oh, funny, but this is not a command job, man. Let's see some enemy you're targeting. Nice. My perk can change as well. I can get a new perk. Um. Let's do that. Yeah, huh? Never mother. That's on account of how I never met her. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Yeah. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. Mm. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. You mean about the mission being too clean? Yeah. I know, but Vicker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicker sees is one ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Mm. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. Yeah, I think you were alright. Let's go. I like you, Pav Pavati. Side. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, for now. Let's just keep walking.
I like having you see my new friend. Alright, some messages. Uh, Clement, I find I must disagree with your theories about the Earth decorates at place in the colonial system. Sadly, as much as I appreciate the board and the new frontier they've opened for us, I believe Hal Halcyon and all the other colonies on the rim of the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves if the Earth di uh, Directorate wasn't around. <coughs> Sorry, hiccups around to regulate trade and settle disputes. I think the corporation would appreciate the mandated <coughs> inclusion of an earth minister if they had a choice in the matter, Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson, of course I'd never dispute that earth is the heart of the whole colonial, colonial system with real adventure independent spirit among which humankind truly thrives is to be found out here among the furthest colonies. I still think you're wrong about the history though. The discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the Earth the directorate power over the corporations. The high cost of the Great War left them in the weakened state and the skip drive was simply extra leverage in the directorate's needs to return to power. Comment. But the corporate ordered me to relocate the uh, George Cannery effective immediately. Shame, I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop at the community centre. Memorabilia, but school scripture tells us that all things happen for a reason. Work fortifies the spirit and all. As for our book collection, I to part with it. Don't want those books mouldering. Contraband locker, so I stashed them all away in the cave over by the river. <sighs> well, that. Uh, I look better than right armor. jumped up. Sneaking for no reason whatsoever. Where are we headed? Toilet light to open. Oh, 
huh? It's like some of the Marauder issues have sorted themselves out. Not something we needed. Guess we're going to be all right as all right as we possibly can be. Careful. Yeah, but that's all. Let's 
put it down here. Well, we got where we needed to. Question. Do you think we Where are we headed? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What? What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! <laughs> I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Yeah. Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Mm. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Hmm. The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. Okay. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. Mm -hmm. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Hmm? Hmm. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. Hmm. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Mm 
Tell what part you're from. Well, running. understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Oh. You know what? Sounds Fantastic. Good. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Hmm. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. Whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. No, oh, she's got a perk as well. What do with that? Yep. I want to go and save that robot now if I can. Safe. I think you will be helpful. <coughs> oh. Oh, there he is. Oi. Ah, oh, you know for it. But I could searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. You know what? That's not bad work, ma'am. You done this before? Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Oh, you owe something for the repairs. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been programmed to deliver this pre-approved message mm. Where are we headed? Let's go talk to him. And then we've got to head towards <coughs> oh, whatever that place is. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Bring us honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. Hmm? You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. 
Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory's the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. Mm-hmm. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Mm. Okay. Don't ask. Let's just uh, get the sword out for the guy. In stellar championship, reserve rangers was the spacers chosen. You think corporate's ever gonna move it? You're not a big drinker, are you? Yeah. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Yeah. Sorry. I know it's none of my business. Strong drink makes me sick. And it makes me real sad. I start thinking about things I oughtn't and then... Well, never mind that. You got better things to think on. Sorry. All right. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. <sighs> Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pop. Let's go to this door. It's the easiest way to get to her. Anti-pillar. Sometimes I never want to meet a anti-pillar. It looked dangerous. Hey. Bring us honor, soldier. You found it. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. Uh -huh. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. How do you use this injury for There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Okay. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Oh, wow. Well, Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Okay. What do you expect to find out? I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Hmm. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. 
a real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. Mm. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. It helps. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're going to have to find an intact model somehow. Hmm. I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes. Calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. Keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. <sighs> if you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Okay. You move. Let me have a go around with my. Yeah, no modifications. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Things that she's already got on her into. Ooh, when did I get a grenade launcher? Let's have a look here. She's got a seven on. Uh, one twenty. I want to change my own weapons.
first, we're going to the same place. Creepy as hell. 